Mel C was out and about in North London on Wednesday, meeting a gal pal for a lunch date. The Spice Girl legend looked fresh-faced for the outing as she hit the health food eatery on Hampstead High Street. She joined her friend and put on an animated display at the North London venue, sitting outside in the balmy London weather. Mel, 47, kept things simple in a black t-shirt and matching jacket, with dark blue loose-fitting jeans. Keeping to her sporty spice persona, she added trainers and slung a bag across her torso. She tied her chestnut locks back in a ponytail and showcased her flawless complexion with very little makeup. The singer was seen chatting animatedly to her lunch pal, throwing her hands around emphatically. After lunch, Mel was seen strolling down the street on her own, taking a tense-looking phone call. She headed off on the call, with bystanders noting who she was as she walked along the pavement. This follows Mel's recent TV interview, in which she teased that a full Spice Girls reunion could take place as soon as the world allows. Appearing on Lorraine, she revealed that Victoria Beckham, 47, would love to do Glastonbury and admitted that they constantly talk about reuniting. Speaking to Ranveer Singh, Mel confessed that doing the Legends slot on the iconic Pyramid stage next year is the dream. Mel admitted, when we did the stadium shows in 2019, we were blown away by how much love there still is for the Spice Girls and how it did affect a huge amount of people, a young generation, so positively. When Ranveer suggested the band could reunite to perform at Glastonbury, taking the legend's slot, the singer enthused, Oh my god that's the dream. All of you? Asked the host, to which Mel replied, Between you and I, I know Mrs. Beckham would love to do Glastonbury. It's been rumored a lot, but we do constantly talk about getting back on stage because the shows in 2019 were incredible. We'd love to do it again, once the world allows and we can do it safely. On her solo tour, Mel explained, I was due to tour this spring, but it was postponed to January next year. I've got a few dates in UK and Europe, fingers crossed we'll be able to do it. And on life as a busy working mum to daughter Scarlett, 12. Mel said, I've been lucky enough to schedule things round school, so she hasn't missed a lot. I go away, but not for long stretches of time. It's tough, it adds to complications, the whole working mum thing. Mel's admission about a potential five-member reunion comes after the Spice Girls released their first song since 2007. To celebrate the 25th anniversary of their smash hit debut single Wannabe, Ginger, Sporty, Baby, Scary and Posh put together Wannabe 25, a special EP which will include previously unreleased track Feed Your Love. As well as the vocals of Melanie Chisholm, Jerry Horner, 48, Emma Bunton, 45, and Melanie Brown. 46, the new song, a slow, soulful ballad, contains Victoria Beckham's vocals, and will be available to stream from 9th July. Feed Your Love is a demo of a previously unreleased ballad written by Spice Girls and wannabe co-writers Richard Biff Stannard and Matt Rowe. The Spice Girls have sold more than 90 million records around the globe. They released three studio albums and 11 singles and won a host of awards including a Brit Award for Outstanding Contribution to British Music. For months fans have been hoping that the Spice Girls could reunite once again to mark the group's 25th anniversary later this year, and in January Melby said they would get back together as soon as the rules will allow it. People need a bit of entertainment music brings people together. 
I would love it, as soon as the rules allow it, then yeah, she told the mirror. She went on, until the virus gets under control I don't think anyone can securely say I'm definitely going on tour. When it comes to putting on a show or concert, I don't know how people are going to do it without the proper guidelines and information, because things change on a weekly basis. Us lot are definitely up for it, it's just a case of timings and safety. I'm always itching to get back onto the stage.